Argon Medical, we manufacture surgical needles for use in the OR setting. So we're always up against the challenges of manufacturing medical devices in a high cost area. Uh, so we always are looking to reduce our costs in any way possible. About two, three years ago, we really started our automation push and wheeling. The Mirror Robot fit perfectly with our automation plans where we're now able to take non-value added operations out of our facility. We've got 85,000 square feet of floor space, and about 55,000 of that is clean room. Before we had the Mirror Robot, our employees used to have to take off their gown, take all the product out of the transfer area onto a cart, and then they would actually roll that into our warehouse. Now with the robot, they can stay fully gowned up. They come out, load the robot up, and just uh, send it on a mission to the warehouse, never having to get ungowned. In the warehouse, prior to um, the robot's existence, I can say, there was a lot of physical interactions, not just between one person and another person. It would be multiple departments coming in at a single time requesting material with the robot, we can now stage the material. And when the robot does return to the warehouse, we can load up the robot, send it to that specific department, and then continue to carry on with our normal daily activities in the warehouse. Productivity is, is changed dramatically. When I was looking at the Mirror 100 versus the Mirror 200, both are the same footprint, same size, uh, you know, same interfaces, but when I looked at the fixture and we were gonna require and the weight of the product that we were gonna be moving, Really, the 200 was an easy choice for us. My initial expectations were that uh, it was going to be kind of complicated and hard to figure out the software. And what I found is it's just the opposite. But when it came time to map the facility, uh, it was as simple as walking it throughout the building and it using its sensors, it finds all the location of every wall, every door, and, and everything else that happens to be in the room. When I first introduced it to the floor, you can see the, the full you know, view of the, the robot on your screen and you see these little red feet always playing chicken with it. You know, is it gonna hit me? Is it not gonna hit me? And of course, it, it never did. Now they walk along, alongside the robot as if it's another employee walking the floor. When I looked at other robots that are out there that aren't clean room compliant, uh, that was kind of a concern to me because a lot of the other robots require hard automation. You have to put lines down on the floor. When I saw the mirror robot, it, it was so user-friendly uh, and easy to deploy. Uh, that it was really a no-brainer for the, for the wheeling facility. We've been able to now take some of the warehouse employees and personnel that was using their time walking back and forth, and even our leads and our material handlers in the clean rooms, now they have time freed up to go do other activities. Um, that time equated to almost a full body. Uh, so the return on investment for us was about one year uh, just on taking that one head now and redistributing that throughout the facility.